gluten-free, maybe thinking about going gluten-free and hesitated up to now, I guarantee you, you've never <laughs> eaten gluten-free like this. Amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> we are dying to dig in. You're going to join us and dig in as well right after the break. Well, it is National Gluten-Free Day, and for all of you out there who are gluten-free, have had a tough time finding good options that are gluten-free, we guarantee you, you've never eaten gluten-free like this. I've never eaten gluten-free. Yes. I'm dying, right? I've to never dig even in. seen gluten-free like this. <laughs> Owner Nash, we call you Nash. Uh, Sedeno is joining us this morning, and she has a company uh, that specializes in gluten-free goods because your family needed this, and you have turned it into a booming business, and we're so excited you're here today. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your business and how you got started in this. Well, my two oldest sons, they they were having severe digestion issues when they were younger. So we decided to just look for solutions for them and we found the gluten free lifestyle. And that's how most people figure out that they have that sensitivity is just something doesn't feel right in their tummy. Mm -hmm. And so you started baking and you know a lot of times when you have something gluten free it's heavy, mm -hmm. it's like the breads are you know very dense, yeah. but you've got incredibly light pastries, a croissant. Mm -hmm. Tell me how the experimentation process went here because it, it didn't, you didn't get here overnight. No, I did not. I come from the baking field, so I was a regular baker. So having that knowledge on my side definitely was an advantage. And it was try and error, like you said. You know, like it wasn't overnight. It was trying and trying recipes. You and said different flours. Different, different flours, yeah, mm -hmm. different techniques. And yeah, and here we are today. Nash, give us kind of a tour of what we've got here. Because it, there are things here, like the scones here. Heidi and I were like, when was that? <laughs> we had like four <laughs> years. Right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. The scones are our cranberry orange scones. Mm -hmm. um, next to it, you got the palmier or the elephant ears, known here in the U.S. You get the donuts. donuts. Absolutely. <laughs> Those are baked and they're mm -hmm. like yeast classic donuts. So they're baked. That's mm -hmm. nice. Not fried. Uh -huh. And I want to point out how flaky the croissants are up here because that I think is really hard to find. In fact, our producer who found you, she said, I, she's gluten free, said, I've never seen one that looks like this too. <laughs> so this took a lot of work as well. Yeah. So I'm very proud to say that we're the only ones in the valley just creating laminated doughs that are gluten free. Mm -hmm. So it's no skipping t steps on this one. It is a laminated dough that is gluten-free and dairy-free. And then the puff pastry also, the same kind of constraints mm -hmm. that Heidi was mm -hmm. just talking about, but you managed to nail it. Yes. <laughs> Talk to me about the sugar content, because a lot of times when companies uh, take out the gluten, they put in a lot of sugar mm -hmm. to make it, you know, taste a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a problem, too, because that can cause yeah. some issues. So you have figured out a way to yeah. keep your sugar levels low, yeah, too. I do, especially with my breads. All of my breads get to ferment, like, 24 hours. So the longer ferment gets not only to process the grains but also the sugar the little sugar that I use in my breads. so that's, that's and then Nash I have to tell you um, your breads also incredible you know I went to San Francisco and I really suffered because I, I can't have a bread bowl no you couldn't have a sourdough <laughs> bread bowl and you actually have a sourdough I do I do have sou uh, sourdough on Saturdays I do uh, Oakton Farmers Market on Saturdays and Wednesdays and then if anybody wish to um, have any of our bakers, they can go to sunnybatters.com and order and pick up at my kitchen. And Sunny Batters. Okay, what is the best here? What should we try? Oh, well, I have many favorites, but I said, like I would say, I love my croissants and okay. my chocolate croissants, but our little stars are, you That's were looking right. at that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The classic puff pastry, gluten-free. Take, take a look at this croissant here. Look at this. And this that one this is so flaky. Uh -huh. Look at that. Look at Bobby, come in close here because well, that is I, a beautiful croissant and, and to think that that's gluten-free is crazy. I love it. Good and stuff. And this one is kind of like the classic puff pastry, gluten-free. So there no yeast on this one. This one just contains a lot of options, Nash. Thank Delicious. you so much. Wow. Thanks for having me here today. Sunny batters. We'll send it back to you guys.